Hey everyone, it's Kelsey Marshall, director with 31, and I want to share with you today my top 10 tips for using Facebook to your advantage for your business. So, tip number 10, Facebook timeline. Let's talk about what to do on your Facebook timeline, what to do, what not to do. Absolutely nothing salesy. So just because it doesn't have a price on it um, doesn't mean that you should blast that on your Facebook timeline. Your friends and family want to see you on your Facebook timeline. Now, if you go to the grocery store and use your LUT and stuff it full of groceries, be sure to snap a picture, post that to Instagram, post it to Facebook, and say, I'm so glad that being a bag lady helps me make one trip in the house. Something like that that's not salesy. Tip number nine. All right, your VIP group, do you have one? You need a VIP group on Facebook. This is a closed group that you can invite friends and family and your customers to that you post all the new specials, um, outlet sale news, and all the good stuff. This group helps you build that relationship with your customers long term. Tip number eight, use your own photos. Just like I mentioned about using Instagram with when you go grocery shopping with your LUT, when you do your Facebook parties, use your photos. In your customer group, use your photos. Your friends and family, your customers, they want to see you using the product, not just some random person that they don't know. Um, and I know sometimes it may be hard because you don't have every product in the catalog um, at your house, but if you do, be sure to use those in your own photos. Tip number seven, Facebook parties. Make sure when you're doing a Facebook party that you use an event and not set it up as a group. Guess what? People don't like being added to groups and having tons and tons of groups that they have to manage. Facebook events give you the opportunity to see who has RSVP'd and when the event's over, it's over. It's disappeared and there's no maintenance for your guests to leave a group that they didn't want to be added to in the first place. Number six. Keep your videos in your posts short, simple, and sweet. We all know that if you post a 10 minute video of a saga about your LUT and all the thousands of ways that you wanna use it, chances are people aren't gonna make it all the way through. They want something short, simple, that they can click, see what they need to see, and move right along. Tip number five. Your VIP group has a link on Facebook. So mine is facebook.com slash groups slash, and then I think it's Kelsey's VIPs or something like that. Use that link to your advantage. When you send emails to your customers from your back office, put that link in there so that they can go and click that link and join your group. If you have an email signature, put that link to your group at the bottom of your emails. You just never know who may click that link and join your group. Tip number four, do not add people to groups without their consent. They don't like it. Now, there's one thing to personally invite someone to your VIP group. Uh, for instance, those home office leads that may order from you from time to time, but they're not in your group. Like I said, send them that link and personally invite them. Do not go on a mass spree and invite everyone on your entire friends list to your group. They won't like it. Tip number three your VIP group. You want to keep that group a happy balance between sales and building that relationship. So from time to time in my group, I like to post questions or asking people what their favorite movie is or sharing recipes or fun ideas. Not everything has to be about a sale. You want to build that relationship. Tip number two, we're almost at number one. Tip number two, Facebook Live. If you're not using Facebook Live, give it a try. Um, I know that it can be scary, but what I want you to know is that it really lets your customers get to know you and see you. Um, and they want to see you using our products. So what better way than going live in your customer group um, and letting them see you live? Um, you can use this in your customer groups. You can use it in parties. 
And this leads me to tip number one. My favorite tip about using Facebook for your business, be yourself. Just like I am today, just like right now, hair up in a messy bun, your customers want to see you, the real you. So if the new customer specials, it's the first of the month and you want to share them your customer specials, but your hair's all in a messy bun, it's raining outside and you haven't had time to fix your hair, that's okay. They want to see you, the real you, that your house may be a little bit messy, that you're not perfect. They want to see you. So you are a part of this sisterhood. You're a part of 31. We love you for who you are and your customers will too. So let that light shine and let them see the real you through Facebook. I hope all of these tips have helped you um, and that you can move forward and be even more successful in your 31 business using Facebook.